Hi and welcome to our channel, The Skinks of Devonshire, where we are dedicated to the information, dissemination of information about Peter's Banded Skinks. So what you may have already noticed is that there's not a huge amount of information available. So really this is just an attempt to get something out there to help people uh, when they become new owners or decide to become owners of a Peter's Banded Skink. I would recommend as uh, resources to watch Clint's Reptiles um, for his segment on the Peter's Banded Skink. And also a very good video was done by, I think it's called Snakes and Adders, who did a wonderful informative about the Peter's Banded Skink and the part of the world that they come from. He gives a lot of detailed information and research regarding rainfall and temperature over the course of a year. And I think really for anybody who is interested in owning one of these little beauties, it would be a good thing to just follow up on those um, to find out more. So this, this band of skink is called Lilith. She's a girl and she is currently living with um, a two vix, a male, and another female called Luna, who seems to be a bit younger. And as there is a problem with um, breeding at the moment, they are hopefully will they will hopefully become a breeding colony, and we will get maybe some eggs next year. So let's all hope for the best. Uh, if either of the girls become Gravid, I expect it will be Lilith first. She seems to have the best relationship with the male at the moment. So, Peter's Banded Skinks. If you're planning to get one, um, then please subscribe to this channel. Please like our videos and um, I shall endeavor to give any and all useful information that I find or that I learn. And um, hopefully together we can all start creating a database of knowledge for these beautiful animals and not just wonderful to look at because they're silver with black stripes, uh, silver, yellow with black, stri black stripes, but their personality is amazing. Uh, Lilith here is still pretty much wild. I, we got her about three, four weeks ago. She came direct from the pet shop who I think had her maybe for, I don't know, only a few weeks. So she would have come from somewhere in Africa, just uh, I think it's called the Sahal, which is a sort of band of desert just below the Sahara, and uh, packed up, shipped over to the UK, and eventually delivered to a pet shop, and then she was delivered to us. So. When you consider that she's ostensibly a wild animal, um, just after a little bit of handling, you can see she's a very, very calm animal. Now, if you try and restrict their movement, particularly when they're wild, they can become very, very agitated quickly. I have seen um, somebody do this with a Peter Bander skink where they were trying to hold it, like you might hold it like this. Um, see, they really don't like it. And in fact, that particular skink did try and bite the person who was holding it like that. And it was actually a very distressed animal. So I recommend that you just hold them, support their front and their back legs, and you just allow them free movement of the head. They love being stroked, that does calm them. And um, as you can see, she's already a very tame animal. And uh, I think Today is probably the most I've probably personally held her. Um, I know she had a session with my daughter last week and where she was just wrapped up in a towel and slept on her lap. And uh, yeah, so wonderful, wonderful animal. So that's handling a Peter's banded skink. And uh, it's important that you handle them properly and they get acclimatized. As you can see, she's very keen to bury herself in the dark and so when we do have one out for an extended period of time that is not being fed 
We do normally wrap them up or give them the option of hiding under a towel or something and they calm down very quickly in those scenarios and um, normally go to sleep. Okay, so that was just a short introduction um, to our Peter Bander skink called Lilith and um, a little information there about handling and taming your animal. Um, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe and watch out for more videos. And if you hit the notification bell, that means you'll actually be notified when a new video comes out. So thanks very much for watching and uh, see you next time.